Hey, what's going on, beautiful jellyfish? It's Tracy. I just want to say that I spent way too much time on this thumbnail. Like, it, it's, I've never spent that much time on a thumbnail trying to get my pose right. I just kept making faces and they were, I make faces all the time. Like, let me just, like, disclaim that. I make weird faces. It is, like, my job. I make weird faces. So, like, I, I was looking at the pictures and I was like, yo, you do not look attractive right now. Please stop. Okay, so I thought this video would be really interesting. I get some of my inspiration from watching different types, like non-magic related videos. And I'm like, ooh, this could be like applicable to like um, the like the magic community, like the EDH tag. Like tag videos were like a massive thing. Like people would actually call them tag videos. They probably still exist now. They just don't call them tag videos. But um, basically, I thought this would be a really interesting um like video to film to like talk about like products I regret and like things I regret and like why I regret them and like this is not necessarily to be like don't buy these it's just like my experience and like I'm, I'm gonna give like justifiable reasons for like why I feel this way about these products and things like that um yeah I think it'll make more sense when you're like getting into it to be like oh like don't buy these like whatever some of them are like don't buy this at all make that very clear. So um, the first thing I want to kind of like talk about as a whole are buying a lot of booster boxes and fat packs. Now, um, Paul and I do film um, booster boxes. I just want to say he buys those, not me. Um, and I'm kind of like over it, to be honest. I feel like they are, honestly, unless there is a set where I want like over 50% of it, I should not buy that. And I'm also talking about like commons and uncommons too because like, you end up with a lot of bulk and it is honestly just clutter. I'm at this point in my adult life I don't want clutter. I am like over tchotchke little nonsensey things and like magic cards what I really like about them is like when I say like I want my collection to be in my decks rather than like in a binder or like on a shelf of commons and uncommons that I'm waiting to bulk up so that I can sell them so that I can get rid of them. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want that. And I feel like then you end up with millions and millions. Now, there are, it's not going to be for me saying I'm going to never ever buy a box again or anything like that. Um, and I guess also for fat packs for people who are newer, um, the new, I just talked about this in a video. I don't remember what the new ones are called, but they're like the ones that come out and they have like 10 boosters and they have like a box. And um, why did they change the name? They're like the same thing as fat packs. They should just rebundle it as fat packs, but whatever. They're just like the bundle and they come with like the spin down and the lands and like the player's guide. And, like it's a cool product. Um, anyways, I just like those in general. I just feel like I have a lot of stuff. And like, honestly, even like look at my shelf, I have like six fat pack deck boxes and that is not even all of them. Like when I I moved from New York to Texas just to paint y'all a picture like I decluttered so much of myself like I only took stuff that I was like yo um this is like legit like I didn't take like again tchotchke things I was like I'm taking like the stuff I want and I feel like now just like I'm like oh my god like why did I buy like all of these like millions of things again it's not to say like like mystery boosters y'all I'm gonna talk about it in a video I'm I'm so hyped on um it actually that might be already up when when y'all see this but um mystery boosters y'all I'm hyped on that like that I'm I'm I might buy a box for that I'm not 100% sure but I'm kind of just like over it it just adds a lot of clutter it's not to say that they're not fun and I think if you're really about a set I think it's like fine but I just think for like the majority of things I just can't really justify it so um number two is my physical binder this thing is heavy like th she's thick look at this Th this is so many magic cards and you would be like Tracy you must have such cool stuff in here it doesn't matter I have way too many magic cards for trade this is ridiculous also um I covered this in like contact paper and then I covered it with cool lady art because I'm extra I haven't shown this actually in a really long time so some people who are newer might not know but anyways um this is literally egregious it is insane I hate how much is in here it bothers me to no end how clunky and cluttered and chunky this is I don't like it I and that is part of the problem of me talking about um the booster boxes and fat packs and things like that is it just comes with so many cards that I just end up putting so many of them in my binder and I'm just like I'm at this point where like my binder literally stresses me out and like some people are like I love looking through binders and now I'm like I just take it just I don't want to look at it like 
stresses me out. Go find cards. Please find like 100 cards that you want because you're going to find 100 cards in here. It's just wild. I want a smaller binder and I want it so just to like paint a picture I have my I have a duffel bag where I carry my magic cards and I have one of the new or it's not new it's new to me the ultra hive um super hives um from ultimate guard that I really love and it takes up the bulk of my binder because it carries the bulk of my deck boxes and this binder and that do not they're they're not friends they do not cooperate with each other and honestly I'm real annoyed with this binder. It's, I really wish I bought a thinner binder that might hold less cards, but that's okay with me. One of my projects actually for myself is to go through my binder and do any bulk rares that are literally anything a dollar under, I'm just gonna put in a pile and just bulk it because I'm like, I can't deal with this clutter. I need to get rid of this. Like, even if it's a card that people are like, that's a really cool card. No, I, I, I don't want it. I need it gone. It's stressing me out, so um my my recommendation I guess for you would be like get a binder that's reasonably going to fit the things that you want it to and don't let it clutter your life like mine so that's pro tip from me to you the third thing uh cheap sleeves hands down um I I spent a lot of time messing around with cheap sleeves and I'm just here to tell you this is one of the things you need to invest in because honestly it is not worth it sleeving and unsleeving decks is literally ridiculous it is so obnoxious especially EDH because there's a hundred cards and when you think about it 60 card decks on a sideboard is 75 cards that's a decent amount of time maybe that's one reason I don't play standard because I feel like I'd be changing my sleeves all the time Maybe that's one reason. No, standard's just a trash format. But uh, where Planeswalkers dominate and Wizards of the Coast is like, do whatever. Like, I can't with standard. But anyways, um, this is not a video on why standard is trash. But um, basically, uh, find the sleeves you like. My, my favorite sleeves, and I'm not sponsored by them, but it'd be real cool if they were. Um, Dragon Shield mats. This is the material of them. You probably can't see very well on the camera, but... Um, they are the best sleeves. I've been using Dragon Shield mats for, I don't even know how long, two, three years, something like that. They're the best sleeves I've ever used. Um, I have never had one of these break on me, knock on wood, and I'm solidly aggressive with my shuffles. They are on all of my decks, but one, which is my Avacyn deck, because those have the best sparkly sleeves and if I can insert a picture here I will show you them I get compliments on them all the time I play I my decks all the way over there and I'm not grabbing it so um but basically it's like the raddest sparkly sleeves and they're very textured and they're very cool but I um the, everything else has dragon shield um mats on them they're the best the regular ones I do not like they're very slippery for me um and I have not tried katanas and I do want to but um basically don't spend your money on dumb sleeves buy um perfect fits and buy nice sleeves a pack of 100 of these is like 12 dollars it might be like but i could get like five dollars to pay the 12 dollars you because you're gonna buy the five dollar sleeves and guess what they're gonna break and then you're gonna just spend another five dollars it's just like buy the um what are these called dragon shield mats they're the best I, nothing has compared just buy them they're great okay this thing is kind of going along the same line of the sleeve thing but um this is the thing that I don't know if I just wanted to do this from the beginning I don't know if I didn't have I don't really know but I really wish I started out with a matching deck box and matching sleeves from the get-go um I really love these again not sponsored but that'd be really cool um <laughs> these ultra pro deck boxes I don't actually know if it's gonna pick it up on camera but they say ultra pro like right here and but it's kind of hard to see I kind of like it though it's like looks really chic and really cool but anyways these deck boxes are four dollars four dollars for one of these and they're really nice. I I have one of the, um, I don't know what they're called. They're the Ultra Pro ones that like the bottom like comes off that I have Tassiger in. If I can find a picture, I'll insert it here. I don't know what they're called. I have one for Tassiger and it makes sense because Tassiger is like my extra deck. Like Tassiger is like my, I've spent the most probably on Tassiger. And it's just, it's like my baby. Like I love that deck. But basically everything else is like this and then I want everything to be oh, paralyzed good good card um I want everything to be this but I didn't do that and I was just like mixing and matching and like doing whatever and I was like Tracy just get the matching product 
what are you doing, bro? Like, I think it, if this is like an if you want to type thing, just like do it. I just feel like it makes so much sense for me to like do that. And I don't really know why I wasn't doing it before. And I don't really know why, because maybe, maybe the old Ultra Pro, like I know this line is newer. I have some of the older ones. Um, again, they're over there and I'm not going to grab them, but they they didn't have as many colors. They had like black, white, like not this shade of green, but like a darker shade, like a hunter green. And then they had like blue, kind of like a medium blue and maybe like a red and like that was in like that product line but then these have like purple and like blues like two different shades of blue and like all this rad stuff like this this is my aesthetic this is what I want and I'm almost actually there because I've now invested money I bought the other week I spent $30 because I bought two new deck boxes and two new sets of sleeves because I was like girl you're worth it okay and the last regret that I would have is a little story I would say. So when I started out playing Magic um, and I was like buying cards um, and I was like buying cards like I always shop through TCG Player. Not sponsored but I love TCG Player. It's where I order all my singles that I don't get at my LGS. And um, been shopping with TCG Player for years. Years and years and years. And I feel like I was buying cards and I didn't care what set it was from. I didn't care what art it was from. I didn't care if it was foil. I was like, the cheapest, the better. And I get that that was my mindset then. But then as it got a little bit on, I would like look at a card and I would be like, oh my god, like the foil is 10 cents more. Oh, no way. Now I'm like, the foil is 10 cents more? Let's buy 12. Like, my mindset has like totally shifted on like what I want to do and I just feel like now my mentality on buying foils for people so who don't know I love foil magic cards um it's like one of my favorite things is like it makes me gives me so much joy is like looking at my hand and it's like almost all foil it's like makes me really happy um, and pretty much what I wish I had done is when I was buying cards for, or when I buy cards, for example, and how I buy cards now is say I'm buying a card and the card is like a dollar non-foil and the foil is like a dollar more, two dollars, I will buy the foil. Here's when I don't buy the foil. Card is a dollar, foil is $70. I'm like gonna buy that a little little bit later but it just made no sense when there was that little bit of discrepancy when I wouldn't pay if it was like 10 cents when I wouldn't pay for shiny things why would you life is so short let yourself have foil magic cards don't go like in debt because of foil magic cards but like let yourself pay the extra 25 cents for a foil like so silly that I thought that way that I was like mm, girl you don't need that. Yes, you do. Well, you don't need it. But yes, you should buy that. So that would be my recommendation is if you're looking to like, if you're looking for me, like my ultimate goal, I would say is to like, I have like a list of all the foils that I want. It's wild for every deck. Some of the, the cards, one of my decks takes up like an entire word page of like how many cards or like a page of like single space of how many cards I need. So it's like, it's like 30 cards that I need for a deck or 40 or something like that. And the rest of it is foil. So it's like, except for lands, basic lands is like a different story. I'm not, I'm not mentally there on like what I'm doing with my foil lands. I don't even know what lands I want to run. I just love all art. I'm like, well, how do I pick? I have no idea, but that's a, that's a me problem. So, um, basically I, um, I wish I did that. So, um, from the get go. So anyways, so I have, I have this foil list and I, um, wish that I had known this sooner that like I would have I feel like I would have saved myself so much trouble I just think it makes so much more sense to like do it that way obviously if there's again a huge huge price difference I won't buy the foil um but honestly that's just where I'm kind of at with that so guys that is it for five product regrets if there's anything that you kind of like regret um, definitely let me know in the comments below. I hope all of these choices kind of my rationales kind of like made sense. Um, like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video.